fishing is not going good, the fish are not cooperating, or I'm not hooking them. We got her started off, we finally caught our first fish. So little kitty, it just swallowed the hook. That's probably really Fishing is not going well for me. I lost a few fish. I finally hooked into something trolling and I was bringing it up and it's a carp. I didn't record because I keep losing fish because they're biting really light and short today. But that's only the second fish we caught. I'm so ready to move away from this place. On the walleye board, if it's still on there, I think it's still on there. What's this, a white bass? A marana day? At least we, that's the third species of the day. At least we caught two fish trolling. It's been real tough. I don't know what's going through Musky Hans' mind, but I'm gonna make grilled carp. This might be the last catch and cook I do in this kitchen. Now I'm giving something away though. But, where's my filet knife at? But, so to clean the carp, I'm going to scale it. So, what I'm going to do, I haven't scaled a fish in a while. in that kitchen though. See now I've scaled the tarp. And then I'm going to rinse off the tarp. Then I'm going to put it in my refrigerator to sit until I decide to grill it, the carp. I'm going to try to grab some free bobbers. I might puke while doing this, but we're going to try. There's a lot of dead fish here. So we got these three free bobbers. Holy crap, this lake is just so disgusting. I don't even know why I'm stepping in this gross lake. There's so much rotten shit right here. I'm literally about puking from going by all that dead shit and dead stuff. So we found all these free This Is this a little kitty or a bullhead? It's probably a bullhead. 
Yeah, it's a blackie. I did not have the bobber cut that deep. Anyways, beautiful bull head to start off with. Slayer might call this the bullhead capital of Texas because it's all I can catch. That's where we're hooked up. Oh, we got another bully bully. Little fat one. Oh, that's a nice bullhead. Nice fat one. I wonder what the bullheads are eating in here. I guess you had to keep one to find out. Bully, bully. Yes, bully. More bullies. You got a bullhead. up the vegetables. Your and Muskie Honda's not so fine kitchen and this may be the last catch and cook in this kitchen. So we kept a common carp and we're going to make grilled carp and what we need for that is we need a car, we have some lime juice, some garlic, a tomato, some black pepper, some parsley flakes, some onion, some dill weed and some salt and some butter. So the first thing we need to do is start cutting up the cutting up some of the garlic, pepper, and onion balls, which I'm gonna start doing right now. out some tin foil and we're going to put this beautiful car in the tin foil and then on one side of it we're going to put on some lime juice put on some parsley flakes put on some dill weed Put on some salt and put on some pepper and sprinkle some garlic on this side and put some garlic in the stomach of it and some tomato chunks and some onion. And then we're going to flip the carp over. And we're going to give it, put some lime juice on it. And put some parsley on it. And put some dill weed on it. Then put some salt and put some pepper on it. I'm going to put some more chunks of tomato on top of it and some onion and put a little more garlic on it. Then we're going to take some butter and then put a chunk of butter in with the cup. And then we're going to wrap it up in some tin foil. Let's throw a tin foil. And then we have a beautiful wrapped card. Which 
is going to be some fine eats. We have the grill going. And then we'll have to set this up to the one of the sides and then we're going to put this carp on the grill and let you roast. Time to flip the carp again. My guess is this fish is probably done. I don't know about this one. Let's see if this fish is done, see what it looks like. I wish I could use it maybe a little longer, I don't know. So I think the carp is done. You probably should take it off and then flip it over. It's time for Muskie Hans to try our gourmet grilled carp. The grilled white bass and Catfish fillet I made is actually pretty good, but I'm not sure how the grilled carp will be. So let's see. We need to clean off our palate with some water. Here's what it looks like. It looks like normal fish. Holy crap, this has so many Y bones. This actually isn't too bad. This is the best carp recipe I've ever made. I wonder why this carp is so goddamn bony. I think frying it dissolves some of the bones. It breaks down. Frying the fish seems to break down the bones. This definitely doesn't taste as good as a catfish or white bass I cooked this way, but it's definitely edible. I want to make some like Polish carp recipe I saw, but I didn't need to catch a bigger one to do that. that probably, I don't even know if I'm going to eat this because it's so bony. But anyways, definitely edible. Definitely not my number one fish to eat though. I'm going to slowly pick bones out of it. That'll be it for this catch and cook. It's definitely not the worst, definitely not the best, but it is carp, and carp is one of my least favorite fish to eat. I don't know why I'm eating it, but I am. And that'll be it for this catch and cook. It definitely does have a carp aftertaste.